hashtags are more important than many people realize. In the midst of all the cacophony of noise that happens on social media, sometimes we dismiss hashtags. But we show in the book that in fact, hashtags are a very, very important tool for connecting many people from many different backgrounds across issues that they are invested in debate about. Hashtags work as a form of logistic shorthand for activist arguments for social movement. Folks can go online, attach the pound sign to a short word or phrase, and they have a political argument right there that can be picked up, it can become a slogan, it can be taken into the street, it can be written on those signs, and it really then can have influence in larger public debates and politics. In 2014, we were inspired to write this book by a really interesting incident that happened where the New York City Police Department asked its followers on Twitter to share stories and images with the NYPD using the hashtag MyNYPD. Of course, this was before Ferguson and before the last many years of hashtag activism had happened, and they really didn't know what was about to happen. So my co-authors and I watched as activists and ordinary people from not only all over the United States, but all over the world began to share images and stories of police brutality with that hashtag. Eventually, we wrote a piece titled Hijacking My NYPD that was all about how ordinary people had taken this hashtag started by those in power and used it to tell a story not often told about those who experience violence at their hands. We looked at hashtags like Yes All Women, like Girls Like Us, like Justice for Trayvon, and many more. And we think about the way that hashtags have evolved over time to really have important influence in our country. And this includes influencing presidential candidates, for example, who've begun to use hashtags and respond to hashtags. There's two things that we hope people really are able to take from the book. And one is just the fact that ordinary people have really been able to use a technology that wasn't necessarily made for them in innovative and important ways to build communities and change the world around them. The other is we hope to inform theory and scholarship about technology, the public sphere, and social change, and offer some considerations into how to think about those ideas more holistically.